Come on, let's start the solution of this question. And in this question, we are given that tan theta upon 1 minus cot theta plus cot theta upon 1 minus tan theta is equal to 1 plus sec theta cos theta. Since we do not have any direct relationship between tan theta, cot theta and sec theta and cos theta, so what we will do is that we will convert the tan theta and cot theta in terms of our sin theta and cos theta. So we will know we know that tan theta is equal to sin theta upon cos theta and cot theta is the reciprocal of tan theta so it will become cos theta upon sin theta. Just simply put these values in our LHS. What we will get? Sin theta upon cos theta upon 1 minus cos theta upon sin theta and plus cos theta upon sin theta 1 minus sin theta upon cos theta. I hope you all get that. Now just solve this so it will become as it is sin theta and cos theta plus cos theta upon sin theta and after solving this we what we will get we will get sin theta minus cos theta upon sin theta and here we will get cos theta minus sin theta upon cos theta okay so now after solving this we will get sin theta this will come to numerator part this will come to denominator part cos theta sin theta minus cos theta similarly in this part this will come to denominator and this will come to numerator so cos square theta upon me sin theta cos theta minus sin theta okay now what we will get if we take minus common from this bracket what we will get we will get is sin square theta since I take common from this packet so this plus will become minus and cos square theta upon sin theta sin theta minus cos theta and here here it will remain as same cos theta okay now so you are asking why i take this minus out so that this and this become equal so let's take the lcm and what we have cos theta sin theta sin theta minus cos theta and here it will become our sin cube theta minus cos cube theta it is nothing but a cube minus b cube and what we have here a cube minus b cube is equal to a minus b a square plus a b plus b square okay just simply use this identity here we have sin theta minus cos theta and here we have sin square theta plus sin theta cos theta plus cos square theta upon me cos theta sin theta sin theta minus cos theta this will cancel and we know that sin square theta plus cos square 
cos square theta is nothing but 1 so 1 plus sin theta cos theta upon cos theta sin theta we can write them separately as cos theta sin theta plus sin theta cos theta upon cos theta sin theta this will become 1 and 1 upon cos theta is sec theta and 1 upon sin theta is cos theta and this is our RHS so we have verify this identity with the help of these trigonometric identities okay i hope you have understood this question thanks for watching